Hello, I'm Mary, and welcome to the Tartan Topiary. On this channel, I always feature a book on the topic of interior design or gardening, and often share ways that this book has inspired me or general musings of life. Come sit and relax while we look at Living Floral, Entertaining and Decorating with Flowers, written by Margot Shaw, forward by Charlotte Moss. Margot Shaw is the founder and editor-in-chief of Flower Magazine. She is a native of Birmingham, Alabama, and she studied art history at Hollins College in Virginia. She graduated from the University of Texas with a degree in interior design. After developing a love for the artistry and inspiration involved in floral design, she soon found she was unable to locate a publication that spoke to this passion. She set about creating one and launched Flower Magazine, now in its 12th year. In this inspirational and instructive book, Shaw presents portraits of top tastemakers at home who share their joy of flowers. From interior designers, Charlotte Moss, Suzanne Reinstein, Christopher Spitz Miller, and Bunny Williams, to mention a few. Also featured, are floral and garden experts like Sybil Sylvester and P. Allen Smith. They share their joy of flowers and impart their personal botanical point of view. Interior designers illustrate how furnishings and decor from modern to traditional, work well with floral and botanical accents in fabric, wallpaper, artwork, and accessories to help shape chic indoor spaces. Most of us understand the power of a flower, but according to Rutgers University researchers, scientists have proven that flowers have an immediate impact on our happiness and elicit reactions including delight, genuine joy, and gratitude. Flowers also have a long-term positive effect on moods. They help people feel less depressed, anxious, or agitated. In the Elizabethan and Victorian era, a message could be communicated through the use of flowers. This type of communication is called floriography, and it is the concept of communicating a message with no written word and just the use of flowers. For example, in the Victorian era, if a gentleman received an arrangement of poppies from a lady, it was a message that she would like for him to come and visit. Margot Shaw writes in the introduction, The urge to gather flowers and all forms of beauty into our lives, I think, is primordial, and in my view, began in a garden. So how fitting that we should be inspired by living, surrounded by natural beauty. Whether these flowers are fresh from a garden or on a 100-year-old print, they can lift me 
in an almost supernatural way. Georgia O'Keeffe once said, If I could paint a flower in a huge scale, then you could not ignore its beauty. And as editor-in-chief of Flower Magazine, I pretty much spend my days and many nights trying to ensure that readers cannot ignore the natural beauty of flowers. This delightful and beautifully photographed book explores a myriad of ideas for putting together charming and festive tablescapes. It includes such topics as assembling table runners of luscious blooms to styling a simple nosegay or posy. But most of all, it gives us a chance to enjoy the undeniable beauty of nature. Living Floral, Entertaining and Decorating with Flowers, written by Margot Shaw, forward by Charlotte Moss. This book is 224 pages. It is published by Rizzoli, and it originally retailed for $45. The Tartan Topiary is one year old, and I wanted to share with you my thanks and gratitude for everyone who has watched, commented, and especially subscribed. I began this channel with very little expectation or long-range goals. I have a love of books and of design, and between the two, I've managed to collect a large selection of books, and I liked the idea of sharing them. These book reviews have evolved into two parts, the book review itself, and later I made some additions on how the book inspired me personally. Many times it looks as if I'm by myself in a nice quiet house, but often that's not the case. I have three children, one son that is still in school, and two older children that are here often. I have three pets that are always in and out and a husband who assists me quite often, whether I want him to or not. I thought it would be fun to give you a behind the camera look at what is happening while making a video. We've done a lot together, you and I. We've traveled, we've taken garden tours, we've planted seeds, We've made crafts, we've cooked, and we've decorated. I hope you enjoy watching some of these things that didn't make it in the videos. And we'll do that now. Now, roses have thorns. Thumb cramp. Hey, now I'm rolling. I'm recording. Rolling. Okay, I'm ready. I'm shooting. I'm shooting. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Rolling. You ready? Rolling. I'm filming. Are you okay? I'm good. Go ahead. Okay, 
You're out of frame. You're out of frame. There you go. That's killing me, that's you all. Because I was standing on that ladder in a very weird position. I just got a little B-roll. Well, I'm freezing. You ready? Just your Yes. You ready for another one? I think. Okay, give me this back. Hold on to it. Keeps trying to focus on you. Okay, then take it off cinematic and put it on. Oh, that's pleasant. This is neat. This is kind of special. Isn't it? It's a parking lot. It feels special. I just want one of everything. My ears went that way up front. Siri, help us. Turn left, then you will arrive. I'm slightly traumatized by this cabinet. I just want to see what they have in their yard. Oh, motion sickness. Coming home with Mama. Really, Roscoe? Uh uh, Roscoe! Ah, uh, there's your spider. Please do not touch the birds, it says. Damn it. Oh, oh God. God. He is wanting a oh, piece no. of you. <laughs> He's not going to bite. Oh, snap that No. A knuckle sandwich. Supposed to do. But the old man went back to Ohio. Do you think it would be possible for me just to get this guy playing his music and you not talking? Fix our slow. Sorry. Wow. You got here just in time, too, to get the light just right. Let's just go with the sounds of nature. Air. Air, air pressure. It's got a little weird thing on the side, too. It looks weird. Colonial riding disc. These little tubes are so fun. RCA electric tube. It's like $20, man. I mean, it's a phone, but we're kind of. Oh my gosh. Is it an intercom? Yeah. That's cool. It is the silver code. That is so cool.
Yeah. Just don't say anything. Look at You can talk. It's been ruined now. Well, you can over, overdub it. I'm going to overdub it. You can overdub it. I'm going to overdub the whole marriage. Don't talk. You know, you're like a child. Carpenter bees were never supposed to fly. It's a miracle of science. Really? Mm -hmm. How much does a human head weigh? Five pounds. Five pounds. Pretty sure.